Hello and welcome to the Storage Commander Network. This is a brief beginner tutorial on how to complete a basic move-in using our software. Now one thing that you will notice is that having more than one way to complete an action tends to be a running theme throughout our software. Now for this particular example you can open up the Customers and Units tab and double click on any available unit. You can go to the site map and double click on an available unit marked green or you could simply click on the move-in button located in the upper left portion of the screen. Once inside the move-in screen, it's time to select a unit. You can do so by scrolling down your list of available units and selecting one from here, or you can do so by simply entering the unit name or unit type in the search bar. Once you've selected your unit, you can proceed to the customer screen. Once inside the customer tab, you can either input the customer's information in directly or you can use the options to use either a combo scanner or a customer access terminal to scan in the information. For this demonstration, I'm only going to use the bare minimum and proceed to the alternate contacts tab. In the alternate contacts tab, this is where you'll be keeping any information about alternate contacts for the customer. As you can see, it's very similar to the customer screen and you can still utilize either a combo scanner or a customer access terminal to input the information. Once you've completed inputting the information for the customer's alternate contacts, you can proceed to the Photos tab. In order to store an image for the customer, you can go ahead and click New, enter a reference name, and then either scan an image using the combo reader, scan an image using a scanner or a camera, or an imported picture from your computer itself. Once completed, the image will be stored on Storage Commander and visible through Storage Commander's sitemap. The next tab is going to be the Fingerprints tab. If your facility mandates that you keep customers' fingerprints on file, you can do so here using your complimentary fingerprint scanner from Storage Commander. If not, continue to the Authorized Access tab. Inside the Authorized Access tab, you can begin by selecting New, which will bring up the same screen as the Customer tab and the Alternate Contacts. As the same as before, you could also input their information by scanning their ID or utilizing a Customer Access Terminal. For information on the customer's employer, proceed to the Employer tab. I'm sure you're familiar with the screen by now, but you can still either input the information directly or utilize a combo reader or the customer access terminal. Afterwards, proceed to the Notes and Comments tab. The Notes and Comments tab is an important tool used to communicate reminders and general account information to all users. The Notes section is generally a scratchpad tool that can be seen and edited by all, while the Comments tab will leave a permanent, uneditable comment that is date and time stamped on the customer's account. Alerts tab is a helpful tool to write in because anything written in here will be displayed in red text whenever you pull up that customer's account information. If the customer is going to be purchasing any of your facility's merchandise upon move-in, proceed to the Merchandise screen. As you can see, all of your facility's merchandise will be listed here categorically. In order to access any of the information inside each category, simply click on the button to the left of each category. Once you've located the item that the customer would like to purchase, simply click Add to Cart. As you can see, this places it into Storage Commander's shopping cart in the bottom section. After completing your merchandise transaction, you can continue to the Insurance tab. In the Customer's Insurance tab, you can select the type of insurance that they would like to purchase by scrolling down the list of available insurance policies. If you have a Customer Access Terminal, you can allow the customer to choose their own insurance policy by pressing the Start button right here. If you do that, it will also give you the chance to capture the customer's signature and digitize that into Storage Commander. After the customer has either declined or confirmed the insurance, you can proceed to the Billing Details screen. In the Billing Details screen, you can finalize all details of the transaction before proceeding to the actual payment. After selecting your contact type, your contact category, your contact source, and your reason for renting, you may notice a glowing Calculate button in the upper right portion of your screen. This is to inform you that something has changed in this transaction and you must recalculate before proceeding. After recalculating, you can notice that all of the information populated itself under the Current Transactions section. You could also add on any fees, discounts, services, and deposits from the screen. In order to add a discount, you can go and just simply click Add, and that will prompt you to recalculate once you've already added that on. You can see that populating itself once again in the Current Transactions section. If you have a Customer Access Terminal, you can click the Confirm Info button right here. This will allow the customer to confirm their information on the transaction up to this point. If you do not have a customer access terminal, you can proceed to the Accept Payment tab. The Accept Payment method is a final step of the move-in. Simply select your customer's preferred payment method and proceed. For the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to assume that the customer gave me cash and she gave me $60. 
As you can see, Storage Commander automatically calculates the change at the bottom, and you can either apply this as prepaid or give the change back to the customer. Once you give the customer their change back, you can go ahead and click Finish, and that'll end the move in process. After the transaction is complete, Storage Commander will give you the option to print and or email the customer's documents. That's including the receipt, the insurance contract, and the rental contract. Once you hit close, this all the information will be saved in Storage Commander and you continue to your next action. This will conclude our tutorial on how to complete a basic move-in using Storage Commander. For more instructional videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at www.storagecommander.com.